Opportunity is an interesting thing. For many people, it is a chance at financial success or a shot at ascending the status ladder. For others, it could mean embarking on a new adventure or discovering a unique personal freedom. For fishermen, however, opportunity is often a fleeting seasonal window that beckons us to take advantage of a short-lived natural phenomenon. On the cold, deep water lakes of the High Rockies, one such brief occasion is the chance to chase monster lake trout during the first few weeks following ice out. As winter's grip is released on these frigid bodies of water, ice melt pours oxygen into the fishery even as the water temps homogenize throughout all depths of the lake. This calls forth giant Mackinac from their preferred deep water haunts and offers anglers the chance to wrangle one of these trophies in shallow water. Savvy laker fishermen know about these seasonal migrations and will tend to focus lots of effort on targeting and locating big lake trout in the short span of time once the ice is gone. On today's program, we are searching for just such a bite. The ice has finally relented at Twin Lakes, one of Colorado's premier lake trout fisheries, and we are using hand-launched watercraft to beat the crowds ahead of the CPW's official boat ramp opener. Using electronics, we target high probability areas on shallow structure associated with migration routes used by large fish. Trolling and casting with traditional swim baits, lures, and spoons, we seize our seasonal big fish opportunity and get into some amazing Twin Lakes Mackinac. Come along on a Rocky Mountain fishing adventure that includes some of Colorado's most iconic scenery and incredible fish. I'm Mike McFarland and welcome to the Colorado Wicked Fisher. Today's program is the premiere of our third season on the Wicked Fisher and we are so pleased to bring you one of our best episodes yet. We'll be chasing huge lake trout during the small window of time following ice out in the high Rockies. Now I'll be honest with you, this type of fishing, it's not a numbers game at all, but where we lack in fish totals, we make up for it with long battles on big, burly Twin Lakes Mackinac. Come along for the ride as we take advantage of a very short-lived seasonal opportunity to chase giant fish in relatively shallow water. I'm sure excited to see what happens on the program. I hope you guys are too. Let's get wicked. Yeah, ready to do some fishing? Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, well we've uh, made it to our destination this morning, uh, which just happens to be one of the most beautiful fisheries in all of Colorado, here at uh, Twin Lakes, around 10,000 feet in the Rocky Mountains. And we are trying our best today to go for ice off lake trout. Uh, so we're gonna be trolling, trying to cover lots of water. Uh, basically, we're really targeting a massive flat area, uh, anywhere from 20 feet up to about eight feet of depth. 
And you know, the ticket here guys is because the ice just came off last week, uh, we do believe that the lake is gonna be pretty uniform temperature throughout, which provides the opportunity for the lake trout to get out of their deep holes and kind of explore some of the shallower areas, which is why we're targeting these flats and hopefully gonna be on the fish here uh, before too long. So wish us luck. Fish on. Okay guys, we've been trolling about an hour and uh, we just hooked up on the first fish. It's gonna be on the spoon and uh, a very typical lake trout presentation, a big spoon. And uh, Kurt is fighting what he thinks is a good fish. The net is just below you, Kurt. So when you're ready, you can self land. We wanna keep him. So he's saying he's not thinking it's trophy status but a good size fish. And hey, you know, we're just happy to be fish on here. First fish of the day is always oh, exciting. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's a oh, lunker, oh. it's a lunker. Okay, you got your drag set right, correct? Okay, it's a good size fish here, team. Probably Kurt's biggest lake trout ever. I don't know if you guys can see that fish swimming. Holy moly. Okay, yep, yep, let him run. Nice job, Kurt, nice job. So guys, it's imperative, you know, when they try to make that run, you have to let them go. Try not to get his head up too much until he's right at the net. Wow, okay, he's powerful, he's powerful. He just took a run on you, huh, buddy? Oh yeah, <laughs> he's not done yet. That is officially lunker status. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not done yet. It's just a, a big, healthy, huge Twin Lakes lake trout. And uh, oh, it's gonna be a joy if we can put this thing in the net. The strong fish. He has the net. The Lakers close. This is the joy of big lake trout fishing guys is all in the fight. You know, sometimes they come in and they don't feel that significant. And I think that was Kurt's initial <laughs> impression. And then bam, they're significant. Come on, Spiegs, we gotta get him in soon. He's gotta be getting pretty tired. Get his head up. Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah! Kurt! Hey, keep him in the water for a sec, just keep him in the water. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Boom. Monster Lakers on the Wicked Fisha. What a fish. Wow, Kurt. What a hugie. Biggest Laker in my life by a healthy margin. What a beautiful fish. Wow. What a fight. He's giant. Ice out Lake Trout at Twin Lake. Impressive, buddy. What a marvelous catch. We are off to a great start. on okay so we just decided to have a cast while we were sitting here and didn't take long to get another one on the line oh my god it's another fish it's a real fish <laughs> okay kurt you got your nets near you so i do they're not hitting yeah. they're not hitting hard not taking off very impressively but oh it's another really really nice lake trout yeah. holy moly I oh can't... my gosh it might be bigger than the last one 
I can't believe it was such it's a like, very similar sized. That fish hit like a 17 or 18 inch fish. And then now you can tell there's something there, but that fish was not the least bit impressive on the strike. He kind of hit like a medium, kinda huh? Like a schmedium. Pull, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, but this isn't a medium. This is, uh, this is not a medium sized fish. <laughs> oh, this day is already turning out to be great. Pretty feisty still. Not so much feisty. You can see the rod tip's not moving much. He's just there, but he is not going anywhere he doesn't want to go. <laughs> Which is into the net. Yeah. <laughs> so tempting to just force him in, but that would not end well. Nice scoop. Nicely done, Kurt. Keep him in the water. Pop the bail. Wow. <laughs> Two He's even fatter than the last one. Look at this monster. <laughs> Two giants in 10 minutes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Look at that monster. Wow. He is an absolute giant. You know, the ice out bite guys, these big ones can come up out of the deep and roam wherever they want. And it is paying off for us today. Kurt is uh, wicked fishing at its best right now. What a superstar. His biggest fish in Colorado ever, correct? This top, my last lake trout, I think was the biggest ever. And this one topped that. So wow. yeah, I'm a happy camper right now. Oh my word. Okay hey guys, we've been out here uh, about an hour and a half. And you know that first hour when the water was true glass, uh, we were struggling, no bites. Uh, we did see one fish roll on the top, but we didn't really have any activity to get too excited about. And then, you know, as soon as this chop came on the water, like right at the very beginning of the chop, uh, Kurt hooked in on a trolling fish first. Uh, and then it's funny, we released that fish quickly. And then Kurt got right back in there with a cast and immediately hooked back up. So that was that was pretty amazing. I mean, that's not maybe the most common thing. And uh, it was very exciting to have back-to-back -back action like that. So I think it just goes to show, you know, we were only in about 15 feet. Um, the second fish came around 20. Uh, so it just goes to show these, these deep lake trout are moving up into shallower areas, shallow flats, areas where flats taper into deeper water and uh, it really allows us to access them in a way that's much harder in the summertime when they're say 70 feet down to 150 feet deep. So we're very excited. We're gonna continue moving along this flat, finding the contour areas where the, where the flat drops off to a deeper depth and exploring those, those underwater ridges and berms. And hopefully we're gonna keep pounding these huge fish. guys I can't tell if this is a fish yeah I, I think it is I think it is I don't know if there's any size to it or not but uh, yeah certainly I was bottom dragging a swim bait uh, Texas rigged in fact so this isn't a treble hook which presents its own unique challenge we want to make sure we get this one in
right, guys, it's a good sized Laker. Nice. Yep, not going to be as big as Kurt's, but it's a, a really nice fish. I'm quite thrilled. I don't think he's got enough oomph in him to give me much of a fight, so there we go. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, check out this one. My first nice Laker of the day. What a beauty. Yeah. Kind of excited about that. Looks like a male, uh, either a skinny male or maybe a spawned out female. I can't really tell, but either way, on the tape, 26 inches. I was bottom bouncing. I could feel bottom contact, and then suddenly the bottom contact felt pretty different, and I knew I had a, I had a nice fish. So that's exciting. Very, very excited about that one. So check it out, guys. Boom. You got to get out here for the ice out lake trout. Well guys, as often happens in Colorado in the springtime, the wind is really popping up. We've got some snowstorms. Uh, really, they're kind of squalls that are parked on the mountains to our west and they're pushing out a lot of energy. Uh, those gusty outflow winds uh, basically have the entire lake to fetch up these waves. And it's, it's a little stressful, so we're gonna head in. You know, we'll probably stick around in the hopes that it will flatten back out so we can come back out. We would love to get at least one more nice size lake trout to really round out today's show. Um, but under these circumstances, I mean, I wouldn't even be that comfortable fighting a fish uh, and trying to land it with waves coming in that are two feet tall and, and some white caps. So, so that's that. Uh, in we go in the hopes that Mother Nature is going to treat us well a little bit later today. Gear check. Okay guys, let's take a quick look at some of the presentations that work really well for Big Mackinac at Twin Lakes. I really like diving crankbaits. They get down into the strike zone quickly and they stay there, especially when trolling. I also like swim baits. Uh, they have a very realistic action. Here we have a slightly smaller one that's great at targeting different sizes of lake trout, while this big one is obviously geared more for targeting the really large Mackinac. And finally, I like big spoons because they can be fished at really any depth. If you slow down, it'll track a little deeper. If you speed up, it will come up shallower and that will allow you to use a single presentation to fish multiple depths. What do you got on there, Mike? Well, it feels like a good fish. And just shortly after getting back out on the boat, you know, the light's low, the chop is up. All really good indicators uh, for a good bite on the evening. And this is not gonna be a small fish. This is not gonna be a small fish. Ooh. Oh, he just rolled on the line. Let's hope he doesn't do that anymore. Big fish, big fish, guys. Woo! Really big. Yeah. I just saw some bubbles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that drag go. He's a lunker. So we just dropped the anchor, which is kind of a risky move sometimes on a big fish. They can always get wrapped in that line. And uh, you know, I think it's probably better than getting pushed into the rocks in shore where he has a chance to get in the rocks. This is a very good sized fish. Look at him go. <laughs> All right, I gotta make a little ground on him. We got to make up a little ground. I really hope this fish stays on, you guys. 
Uh, we came ice fishing this winter here at Twin to make an ice fishing episode of Wicked Fish Up, and I had a really big fish on that got off. And uh, I feel like I've had a bone to pick with Twin since then. And this might uh, be the score settler right here. <sighs> wow, wow. I mean, I, I, I can't even bring the fish up. He doesn't want to come up. Okay, I just saw some white. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my. my gosh. Wow, okay, it's a 30 plus, guys. It's gonna be a 30 plus fish. Wow. Well, we really hope this brand new braided line holds up, Suffix 832. He's trying to get in towards those rocks. We can't let that happen. We're only about 150 feet from the shore. And uh, there's a lot of boulders here on this flat. We've seen some boulders. We've seen a lot of boulders in close. And so if he gets around a boulder, if he wedges under some kind of a windblown log or something, I mean, I'm gonna lose this fish. And I can already tell, I mean, it's just, I can hardly move him, guys. This is 20 pound braid, 20 pound leader. Yeah, buddy. Wow. You saw him, right? I saw, I got a okay. glimpse of him. That's a big fish. Okay, he's he's 30 inches and then some. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's not hooked well. He's not hooked well, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, not gonna make that happen. Not gonna make it happen on that go. You wanna be careful, you know, if you get the, the lure hung up on the net and the fish isn't in the net, that can be it. That can be the end of it. He's just gonna swim right off the net, use it to his advantage, and you're gonna lose him. No! Oh, come on, please, please let me land you. Okay guys, we really put in the effort, toughing it out in lousy weather, and this is one of the reasons you do that, is to be able to get into one of these Twin Lakes Giants. Look at that monstrosity. I have to back up just to keep it in frame. <laughs> this has been a tremendous day. on the day. Uh, I think it's time to call it an awesome day and head on in. Using the same techniques and exploring similar structure, we returned to Twin Lakes several times over the course of the next week. Little did we know when filming this first day of fishing that those to follow would be even better and would see some of our best and biggest fish brought to the net. The ice off laker bite is truly a beautiful thing. guys thanks for joining us today on the Colorado Wicked Fisher we are so thrilled that you could come along on what has turned out to be one of our most unique adventures ever you know having the ability to come to a place like Twin Lakes and experience a true ice off lake trout bite when those giant fish are roaming the shallows and we're capable of catching them on all kinds of presentations things like giant crankbaits Things like giant swim baits and spoons. What a remarkable time and just such an awesome experience. We feel very blessed 
and want to express a lot of gratitude that we were able to have this experience out here today. So thanks for coming out and watching today on the Colorado Wicked Fisher. We'll see you next time.